Hey folks, K1 GMM Steve over here in the ditch in Vermont. Uh, this is kind of an emergency video. <laughs> it's it's actually not funny. Uh, I felt I felt I need to post this. I have two friends that are going through literal living hell with these MFJ SDR switches, and I need to share this because you guys know that I play with this technology, these external SDR receivers. Now, anybody who has seen the GoBox video, I'm using an MFJ1708B series SDR switch. I'm going to show you the differences between the two, between the switches. There are three switches available on the market. If you get the wrong one, you are screwed big time. I got two friends that are in this situation. I got lucky because I really wasn't paying attention. So here we go. I'm going to show you this one. This is the one I use in the go box. This is the MFJ RF Sense SDR receiver TR switch. Okay, this is 1708B SDR. It's got three SO239s on it. Now the difference between this switch and the one I have on the main station for the diversity receive, the only difference is, is that this port right here is an SMA. Same switch, SMA. This, these are the switches designed to use with an SDR, an outboard SDR receiver, as in an RS, excuse me, an RSP series receiver, ASPI, whatever you're using, Hack RF. Um, these are the switches you want. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the switch not to get. And you guys need to be darn sure you're getting the correct switch. They all look the same at first glance, but they are not. Okay, so let me jump over to the pan adapt or the, um, the display here. All right. This is... The 1708B MFJ 1708. Notice 1708B. All right. Same model number, sort of. Uh, this switch right here, you'll notice. Seventeen 1708B SDR. Yes, sir, Johnson. So, let me show you the differences. This switch, I believe, is designed to be used with just a, like a secondary transceiver, uh, so to speak. This is not meant to be used with an outboard SDR receiver. Could you get it to work? Maybe. We haven't been able to. Supposedly, there's a jumper connection that needs to be made inside. Uh, to allow it to work does not work on top of it inside this switch on the board what I don't know the value of it but there is a ferrite choke uh, which I believe it possibly tied to the jumper 3 connection which is open there are no jumpers in the jumper 3 there's a, there's four jumper sections in this in this switch Okay, also this switch right here is a gen is a revision zero board. Again, this will not work. This is not designed to work with an external SDR receiver. What happens is, is you will key your rig. It'll put this into transmit via RF sense. It'll sense the RF coming down the coax and it'll kick the relay over. Or you can uh, set it up with a... Uh, uh, right here with a control line from the rig which will hard key the relay great right no what happens is you get a tremendous amount of audio that comes through the pan adapter and the whole purpose of this system is to actually monitor through the software and use the SDR radio as a true front end to your conventional super hit or whatever you got sitting on the desk well, you won't be able to, there will be so much audio coming through there. And of course, there's a delay because of the latency. It's, it, trust me, it's just not going to work. Um, all right. So that is that. That's the switch you do not want. The standard 1708B. 
you'll notice that there's no markings on here that suggest it has to do with anything to do with SDR. Nothing. Okay, let me show you the switch you want. You notice right here, SDR, 1708B SDR. This is the switch I just showed you that I had in my hand. This, if you read over here, uh, switches with a receive splitter designed to be used with a transceiver and a separate receiver such as the popular SDR receivers. This is the switch you want. This is the 1708B SDR. This is a revision one board inside. And you'll also note it, notice that this says aux right here, not mute. Uh, the other switch, I, I, I don't even understand. <laughs> I don't even understand the point of having a switch like that. Uh, like like the other one. Okay, so you want this one, or if you want a direct SMA connection to your SDR receiver, this is the one I have on the station for the diversity, the second antenna for the RSP Duo. Uh, notice, 1708B SDRS, that has to do with the SMA. The SDRS SMA is the exact same switch, it just has a different connector as the one with the SO239. These will work. Notice RF Sense SDR receiver TR switch. Any of these that say SDR on them are the ones you want. Uh, personally, I would go for one of these two. Personal preference, either that one or that one. That one or that one. Okay, I figured I'd, I'd post this video to clarify. Don't make that mistake. You will, we've been ripping our hair out for about three days trying to get this figured out. So, so yeah. That's the bad boy right there. Either the 1708B SDR or the 1708B SDR dash S. So ones, those are the ones you want. All right. Just wanted to make sure that that is clear. And I think that needs to be, there needs to be a video out there explaining. I don't know if there is one. I haven't seen that much information about these. Um, I just got lucky. I ordered the switch thinking it would do the job and it did. It was the correct switch. I ordered two of them. So <laughs> I just got lucky. I would have made the exact same mistake that two of my friends made. So I'm just trying to prevent any of my viewers, subscribers who are looking to venture down this road. These switches do work really well. As you saw in a previous video I did with the, um, with the go box works great, man. Even on RF sense, I'm going to end up pulling a hard line sending a PTT hard line to the switch. So uh, using, uh, I have a Heil cable for the 857. So I'll be doing that eventually. But the RF Sense works pretty good on them. Uh, so there you go. 7-3 guys, do your research. Make sure you order the correct switch. And we'll talk to you all later. Have a great evening. By the way, I believe this is the 17th. Yes, it is 17th of February. <clears throat> and we'll talk to you all soon. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.